Yidashimase. Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday, and on the menu this week we have Delta Zeal, classic arcade bullet hell action. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. From developer Triangle Service, Delta Zeal originally released to arcades in 2002. Over the years, it was see released as part of a compilation on the 360 and on the PC via Steam. Now in 2023, it's available for the Nintendo Switch with some additional new extras. And those particular extras happen to be a newly recorded uh, developer commentary, which personally, that makes this release for me. As far as uh, enjoyment, I've had a lot of uh, fun playing through the game itself, but the commentary in particular are both insightful to shoot 'em ups and this game in particular, and have been quite a treat to uh, sit and listen through. With that said, if you're a fan of Triangle Services games or just bullet hells in general, I do feel that this one is worth a look, especially for nothing else because of that commentary. So. Here we find ourselves at the main menu for Delta Zeal, and this is one area where I do have a bit of a complaint. Initially, when you first start up the game, you have arcade mode and then the options all lined out to the right. But as you unlock score attacks, they show up kind of messily to the right of your arcade mode. It would have been nice, in my opinion, if they had had their own um, container, and you would go in, like, you'd select score attack, and then you could select which stages you had available. Uh, but the, here's the particular extra that I found. Uh, find most interesting for this particular release, the commentary. So this is an area where you can watch the main programmer play through the stages as well as um, give some insightful commentary which admittedly is um, being like uh, done in a text-to-speech sense but it's still really interesting to see the or hear what has to be said about the game itself and especially about the game it's quite insightful. With all that said, we're going to go and show off the game in arcade mode today. Selecting arcade mode, we're taken to the initial start of the emulation. We have a nice info card on the right, as well as our controls on the... Or rather, the info card on the left, controls on the right. And this game does support two-player co-op, so that's how we'll be playing the game today. Starting the game, we have this neat little launch sequence. So player one's on the left with the red fighter, and player... Uh, two is on the right with the blue fighter. Um, I believe the names of these like, fighters are sirens. As far as the controls are concerned, uh, Delta Zeal is relatively straightforward. We have our primary shot, which has two modes. You have your single fire or you have your um, rapid, and that does play an important part here. In, uh, that I'll kind of explain in just a moment. You can kind of see it on the bottom of that info card there. There's um, a special weapon like a uh, guide there. In addition to that, we also have a bomb. So the stages themselves are kind of variable in length. It's one of the parts of this game that's actually really interesting. You have branching paths, you have uh, variable lengths like stages with uh, secret sections. Um, for as far as like uh, a unique game, I feel like uh, this game can uh, throw surprises at you quite regularly. Uh, but one of the things that I really love about this game is the power-up system. So as you can see, there's three different power-ups that you can uh, ultimately get. The red for the wide, the green for the missiles, and the blue for the laser. The thing of it is, is you can actually have all three at one time, or you can focus on just a single, like, uh, particular power-up. And those can be combined together in any combination of ten, that you can see on the bottom of the screen for the right or the left player there. And the more you have of one particular um, shot type, the stronger that shot type gets, which is really awesome. Um, personally, I kind of like to build one that's like laser and missiles. The missiles to kind of handle spread, uh, but the laser to deal heavy damage. Um, first boss has two forms, but his goes down relatively easily, especially on some lower difficulties. Um, but one of the things that you can do with that whole power-up system is if you fill that bar on the bottom with one of uh, uh, just a single color, then you get a powered-up version of that particular shot. 
and that particular um, goal is one of the really fun things about this game. I appreciate that uh, they've got that kind of element to it. In addition to getting a stronger version of that shot, it also works really well to build score. And let's talk a little bit about scoring. So that's one way you can work on building your score. Another way that you can build your score in this game is as you destroy certain enemies, they'll drop these like uh, pink winged scoring items. And if you collect these uh, without letting them drop off of the stage, then they'll continue to grow in score getting up to like a thousand, I believe 5,000 uh, points, so you can gain a lot of points really quickly. Especially with the extra mode, um, that, or rather the extra attack that we haven't talked about. So that last attack uh, that we haven't mentioned is the uh, basically kind of like a black hole bomb, except it doesn't act as a bomb. So if you hold down your main fire button, not, not use the rapid fire, you'll charge up a black hole that you can release. That black hole powers up uh, by destroying enemies, and what it does is if any enemy shots hit that black hole, they'll be converted into uh, scoring items, thus allowing you to both build up a little bit of defense and also score really big points at crucial moments. So this is a bullet hell. You might have a situation where like a boss is filling the screen with um, bullets, and if you can convert like uh, a ton of those bullets into points, it'll definitely help in a score attack attempt. So as I was mentioning in the first stage, there are um, branching paths and uh, extra sections uh, that you can encounter throughout the stages. That train section that we fought there uh, is actually optional. Um, so the three tanks that, that come before that, by the way that's the way that the bomb looks in this particular um, game. So the three tanks that came before that, if you destroy them fast enough, then we'll get to the point where we unlock uh, that uh, tank, or that train section. Um, and from the developer commentary, I guess the idea was, like, uh, it's making the game more accessible, like, uh, for uh, players that might not be as skilled as shoot 'em ups to get through a stage quickly, if, even if they don't destroy those enemies uh, in a fast manner, uh, they'll still get through the stage in a relatively quick manner, but for the more skilled players, uh, it gives more, um, basically, like, a chance to both, like, play through the game and uh, score, like, uh, higher points. Basically, it adds an additional challenge for somebody that's uh, more skilled with the gameplay itself. In addition to that, like, there are two points in the stage where the, or rather the game where, like, uh, it branches after stage two and after stage four. So you have two versions of stage three and two versions of stage five. So one thing that's never stated in the game itself, but once again is mentioned in the commentary, the way that uh, you uh, ultimately determine your path is very Darius-like. So if you're on the left side of the uh, stage, you'll go to the A stage. If you're on the right side of the stage, you go to the B stage. And it's, it's super fascinating to learn this uh, about the game itself. And ultimately, that's Delta Zeal served up for your enjoyment. So as far as the minus flavors are concerned, there are a couple complaints that I have. There are a few points throughout the game, and there's even some in the first like uh, stage, where the game is auto-scrolling the stage left and right, and depending, you might have um, issues where you'll be scrolled into enemy bullets from certain sections, and that, in and of itself, is something that can be a little on the frustrating side. Um, there's also uh, no focus movement in this uh, particular title, and although most of the time, like, uh, the dodging uh, wouldn't require it, there are a couple scenarios where I would think focus movement uh, could be really useful. You do have slower movement when you're charging up your black hole, but you can't actually fire at that point, so I don't really consider that, like, your standard um, focus movement. And then, uh, lastly, I also kind of feel that um, 
the length to add on credits for the titles is like you can earn additional credits in a similar fashion to most other um, console shoot 'em up by like a uh, length of time played. But there's no indication as to uh, how long uh, you have to play to unlock continues, and there's no timer to indicate uh, how long you've been playing the game itself. So something to note about the gameplay and like uh, keep in mind. There's just those couple issues that uh, don't really spoil the game at all, but there are a couple things that I noted. As far as like uh, the plus flavors, like I said, the big one for me is really the developer commentary. It really kind of uh, just adds an extra element to this title for uh, me personally. In addition to that, uh, really the artwork in this game is really top notch. The enemy like designs, the uh, the sprite work. Uh, everything just comes across as like bright, vivid. It flows smoothly, even playing in a uh, co-op. Uh, there's like uh, no slowdown whatsoever. It's a uh, truly great shoot 'em up to just like sit down and play. And then, like really, just the whole weapon system and building up like uh, your custom like weapon loadout uh, is really fun. Uh, and if with a slight element of like frustration when you have your perfect loadout built up and then you get the wrong uh, color because the power up items do just cycle through colors that can be a little bit frustrating but it's all within the game so it still feels good so there you have it delta zeal served up for your enjoyment this is definitely one that earns a solid recommend from the chef well, that'll just about wrap it up for this week's episode of Shoot 'em Up Saturday. As always, I want to thank you so much for joining us this week. I hope you have a wonderful week yourself, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.